Oh, it's Papaya Dude. Oh, my glasses are fucking weird. They're dirty. It's Papaya Dude, and I'm back with more Guilty Gear. I tried out the tutorial. It was pretty simple. I feel like there's much more to learn. I don't even know who to pick. That's the thing. I don't know anybody. I don't know the lore. I don't really know much. So I'm thinking of doing like a character quiz and see what I get. The thing is with me and any other player, they're going to pick the character that looks cool as fuck. Just pick a top <laughs> You want to win you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking talk to I you. don't even like, but I think it would be more fun if I did a characters, uh, a character quiz to see like what I would get for funsies. Let's see what happens. But yeah, gladly appreciate a like, comment, sub up to the channel. And you know, let's get on with the reaction. Oh, not the react. Whoa, reaction. <laughs> let's get on with the video. <laughs> oh, those who know, I actually have a reaction channel. So, which is why I said that. I'm so used to that. that my, my muscle memory, my mind, my brain is saying that. But yeah, let's get on with the video. All right. Go to your Strive character quiz. A quiz to pick which Strive character best suits you. Questions. If you don't understand the word, try clicking on it. What is the most important to you? Doing one thing and doing it well. Having tools for every situation. Feeling suitably rewarded when I perform. Me personally, I, I'm someone who... Like, I really enjoy the fact that, like, I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. I like doing other shit. I like mixing people up. I like, I like variety. That's just how I feel. I like different things in the fighting game. I like, I need variety. I need a vast amount of stuff. You know, I can't just only be, like, that's why I switch different characters. So, what's the most important to me? I think feeling suitably rewarded when I perform well is really, is, is my thing. Because I like doing damage. I like, like, dumping damage on my opponents so it's pretty fuck like that's my thing yeah i feel like when, when i'm when i feel rewarded in a fighting game it's when i pick characters that i know i'm obviously gonna do really well with of course right if, for an example i like picking jiren i like picking as broly and i love picking tien those three characters in a team like when you get the synergy correct you get rewarded a shit ton of meter and then regardless like as broly the moment you get a crap ton of meter you could Dump the damage with S Broly for his level three because he gets a buff afterwards with his level three. Then Tien, you have a lot of meter. You spam the the super button. You shit out a ton of, a ton of damage. Really enough. I am. Give me that. Fuck me. Hold this shit, man. Fucking tired of fusion meta. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh no, tired of this shit, man. Every single fucking time. Every single time. Gogeta, Gogeta, Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta. Time. I'm out of here, man. And you playing on lava stage. Fuck you. All right, man. This shit's annoying. I don't want to feel rewarded. This is how I feel. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much how I see it. That's the only game that I'm pretty much focusing right now. So that's how I, I that's that's the logic that I have with it. Number two, what sort of moral system do you like in a character? Any sort of good? I don't really enjoy playing as assholes. I'm guessing like what the characters roll, like how they are, the personality. I like neutral characters. I love to play the villain. I have no strong feelings one way or another. Hmm. My history in fighting games, I feel like so my first fighting game was Street Fighter 4. The competitive one. Like a competitive fighting game. My real first fighting game was Street Fighter 4. I picked Ryu. I was a kid. I was like what? Like nine? Eight? Pretty much. I started just going ham. Like I started like picking other characters. I started picking Yoon. Yoon and Yang, like they're very new. They're not really, they're good people. Like they're good characters, but they're not like villains either. So they're just, I feel like they're neutral. I picked Abel afterwards. He's neutral because he doesn't know if he's good or wrong. Like he doesn't know if he's fighting for the right thing. You know, he doesn't even know his history. I'm going back to DBFC. Like the teams that I use in DBFC is what? Base Vegeta, TN, Lab Coat. Yeah, I don't really. I like neutral characters. They don't have to be good or bad. They don't. They don't really matter to me. So I have no strong feelings one way or another. You have a character gender gender preference? Not really. I play men. I play male or female. None. I don't really. Doesn't really factor to me. When in a match, what's your favorite thing to do? Keeping the pressure on my opponent. Outmaneuvering my foe. Mind games. Executing the right combos in the right situations. None of the above. Slash. I haven't played any fighting games yet. I'm obviously not going to pick the last one because I play fighting games. That's pretty much what I play. Um, mind games, not really. Because the more mind games you have to, the more mind games you do, I feel like the more you need to know your character, which is like you have to really study, study, study your character. And me, I'm not that kind of person because 
Let's say you lab your whole character and then patch comes. That same stuff that you used to do doesn't work anymore. So all those setups and stuff, they may not even work the same way. Me personally, I like the I like the pressure. I like keeping the, the pressure. It's pretty cool. The mind games don't really work, uh, mean much to me. I'm maneuvering my opponent, I guess, like what? Like punishing them, like with punishing them and um, that's how I can see in my head right now with punishing. <laughs> I think executing the right combos, <clears throat> being optimal and knowing not to, knowing when not to be optimal really matters to me because you don't want to do all this. You do a, an advanced level combo, and you drop the shit and then you lose the game. That happens a lot in DBFZ. Like you drop one combo in DBFZ, you're done because the opponent can turn the game right around right after that. What's the most important or enjoyable quality in a character for you? Damage. Everything else is secondary. <laughs> That's funny. Health points. I want to last long in combat. Mobility. I like going fast and enjoy unconventional movement options. Utility. Give me a lot of tricks, tools, and options to play with. Last one. I would prefer to play all round. I like mobility. I, li I do like damage too. I'm gonna pick no ability. I like moving fast. My characters, I, I don't like slow, heavy characters. Like being too slow in a fighting game kind of sucks, but not only, I think you only do well when the opponent doesn't really know how to play the matchup or anything like that. You know, I think that's what I think. Like I, that's what I, that's what matters to me. It, mentally, that's where I go. Mobility, I want to be fast, but have decent damage. I know what I'm doing at the end of the day. That's like what my goal is. So I'm gonna pick mobility. Number six, do you have fun when zoning? Not really a preference. I really don't care. It feels good when you catch them. Lacking. Like specifically Jiren's 2S. Like not 2S, um, his 5S in the air. Like his, I like that shit. I like using base Vegeta's key blast because it's plus 20 if they block. I think I think you're plus 20 if they block it. Um, It depends on the game too. Like it really depends on the game. The Street Fighter is, is different. You know, you got to play, you got to know how to shimmy. You, you, know, you got to know your, your combos. You gotta know how to block correctly, you know. But it's different. It depends on the game. Do you have fun playing a rushdown playstyle? Yes, I do. I love this. I just, I just love going ham. I love going ham when I have the damage that I have the opportunity to to do a shit ton of damage when my opponent fucks up. I love that shit. So give me that damage. I love, I love the rushdown. Rushdown is pretty cool. Number eight. Do you enjoy playing the one player game? Uh, what do they mean by that? Like what? Like not letting your opponent play? I love getting the opponent into a situation where they cannot, where they cannot really do anything. I am fine with doing it sometimes if the need arises. I would play the game, play a game with more footsies, neutral, two-player game. Uh, if I don't really fuck with you, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm fine with doing it. If I don't really fuck with you, like in person, like if I don't know you, if, I, if we in bracket, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fucking, you know, like do what I gotta do to, to play a one-player game and make sure I win the match. You know, that's pretty much. It. Oh, I see it. So I'm going to pick the second option. What range are you most comfortable fighting at? I'm a close range fighter. I feel most comfortable at mid range. I feel most. I, I most enjoy fighting at long ranges. I want to be able to handle all ranges. No idea. Slash anything goes. I'll handle all the ranges. I need to, I need to know like if what my character is capable of, of doing what he could do in different ranges because if you just stay to one range, then you'll you'll not you won't know what to do in a different range. It just that's how I see it. So number ten, does the idea of stances or multiple move sets in a character in the same character sound appealing, dude? So there, here's my thing. I was even trying Grand Blue the other night, and I try to play Narmaya. Narmaya is a baddie. Narmaya is beautiful. I like the fact that she's pretty, like, and the fact that she has a long sword, right? So my head, I'm thinking like she's like easy. That girl got stances, right? So I'm here like, oof. I got a lab lab. That's how I see it. I'm not lazy though. I'll do it. It's just that it's gonna be harder for me to learn the character. The same thing with Chun Li. I started picking up Chun Li in Street Fighter 6, and she has stances now, so you have to know what to do. And she's technical. Like, it's not easy. So you have to, I like it. I don't mind it. I don't really mind. Yes. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Like, let's say, like, you like I have this fulfillment within myself. If I land a combo. With a certain stance, like set play or something like that, I'm lit. I'm feeling happy. Like I feel accomplished within myself. But I do think it is hard. So, I like the idea. 
Number 11. Are you okay with charge motions for your special moves? I liked using them for a lot of my combo, spacing, and setups. If it's just for the occasional neutral defensive use, they're cool to me. I want to use a character that has zero charge motions for the special moves. No preference. I think in neutral is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, like in, in close person, you have to be on point. Like you have to learn how to do shit. Like you, not, not, that's not that you, you have to, you, it's not that you have to learn how to do shit. You just got to be on point. That's how I think. But far away neutral stuff, like if I got to throw out like fireballs with like holding back and forward or something, you know, like that's, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. But at close range, it kind of matters a lot. So I, I would rather use it in mid range. Number 12, what is your preferred way of opening people up? The simple frame trap throw game. I don't know what this term means. The R-I-S-C. Boxing pressure. What's this? Risk and reward? Well, I don't get it. Oh, it sent me to the glossary. Risk. Wait, that's, is that, I, am I pr pronouncing it correctly? A mechanic in Guilty Gear series that increases the damage you'll take from further attacks if you block long enough. If, okay, as, you're, as you block attacks, your risk gauge fills up in the Guilty Gear Strive. Right? He's blocking. Oh, this. The risk gauge starts to get cranked. When he gets hit, listen and watch for the multiple counter hits at the start of Leo combo. Counter. Ah, damn, that does so much damage. What the fuck? So it's a mechanic in the Guilty Gear series that increases the damage you'll take from further attacks if you block long. So the more you block, the more damage you take. As you block attacks, your risk gauge fills up. The... The risk in Guilty Gear Strive is hard to see. Um, yeah. As you stand around or get hit by get hit by attacks, your risk gauge lowers. As long as your risk gauge is at zero, combos will have regular damage scaling rules applied to them, and everything should be fine. So the more you block, the more you're risking yourself. So risk, like that's a oh. Nah, that's crazy. Look at this shit. Go back. So he's blocking. So the more it goes up, the more penalty you're going to have. Dude, and if you fuck up, boom, look at that shit. Son. Son. All right, I actually kind of like that because it promotes like getting impatient and just doing shit when you're not supposed to and you punish them. That's godlike. I actually want that. I actually do want that. So command grab uh, depends if you don't know how to like mix it in correctly. The high low mix up left right mix up. I just started Guilty Gear Strive, so I don't want to pick this. I think it's a cool idea, though, the risk the risk mechanic. So I'm going to go for high-low. Make them guess. 13. Are you okay with having set play in your movement? I like the idea of set play. Let me look up the word set play to see what maybe I'm saying and maybe I'm using it incorrectly. Performing a pre-planned calculated setup after you knock down your, knock down your opponent. After you knock yeah, your opponent down. There is no winging it by the seat of your pants here. Set play often involves some frame kills to set up a very specific timing. They'll make your mix-ups very ambiguous and often avoid reversals. Okay. Uh, so it's like setups. Knowing when to do the setup correctly. So am I, am I okay with it? I don't... I like the idea of set play as a basis for starting my offense slash neutral. I'm fine with set play as a way to of setting up pressure on the opponent. I'm fine with it. It's pretty cool. Would you like a projectile? I want at least a standard full side, a full screen horizontal moving one. As long as it controls good space, it doesn't need to be full screen. Or I kind of, I, I would like one. I think it's pretty cool. What kind of reversal would you like? Meterless would be good. <laughs> Save my resources. <laughs> 16. Pick the character resource type. That sounds the most fun. Managing an additional meter sounds fun. Maybe something like ammunition or summon projectile I have to keep track of. Nothing special. I'll stick to the basic meter. I think for right now, I'll stick to the basic stuff. Cause I just I don't know the characters. We'll, we'll see what happens. Cause maybe the maybe the character that I get on this quiz I may not even like, or maybe I do like, and then I'm gonna just like switch off. You know, it's pretty fine. It's okay. Like we're not supposed to stay with the same characters. Like I that's what I think. It's always good to explore and do all that sort of stuff. Last question: How good do you want your vortex slash knockdown pressure to be? The same options I would have, I would have starting a neutral block string is fine. I want the set play projectile pressure as they're getting up. I think that's pretty fucking dirty. I think I like that. The second option, I want the the set play. Yo, that shit is so sick. 
I want to have so many mix-up options that the opponent will have to make a big guess on where on their wake-up or risk getting blown up. If I really want to be fucked up, I'll pick the third one, but I do like the second one too. So um, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the third one. All right. I hope it's a fucking cool character. I hope it's not a character that's like weird as fuck, dude. I hope it's not. All right, get results. Leo White Fang oh, is lit. Is lit. Yo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm fucking happy. He's a cool looking character. He. I heard he's fucked up too. So I'm with it. Other characters you may like. A uh, Chip. And Eno. Okay, Eno. And then Chip. I'm going to screenshot this real quick because that's fucking dope. I'm definitely going to screenshot this. Because he's a cool looking character and I'm happy about that. Wow, Leo White Fang. Time to do some fucking combo trials. All right, so I'm going to I'm definitely going to try Leo. He looks fucking dope. Um Yeah, man. I'm going to be I'm going to try to do my best to get like something weekly out for Guilty Gear cuz I really want to get get into the game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My little quiz little game show shit i don't know but yeah have yourselves a goddamn good one peace